Ryder and his Paw Patrol team were in the lookout when the monitor began to buzz. It's Captain Turbot, cried Ryder. He wants us to help him to count the penguins on Seal Island. That sounds like fun. I'll need you, Sky, to count them from overhead, Zuma to count any in the water, Chase to count them on the land, and you, Robodog, to drive the Paw Patroller. Let's go! Robodog was first down the slide. He quickly hopped into the front of the Paw Patroller and opened up the side for all the vehicles to enter. Chase was next after Robodog and he zoomed down the slide and into his cruiser. He carefully drove his cruiser into the Paw Patroller and then joined Robodog in the front. Sky flew down the slide after Chase and she bounced into her helicopter. She guided her helicopter into the Paw Patroller and then joined Chase and Robodog. Zuma was next and he jumped into his hovercraft. Last of all was Ryder and he flew down the slide and hopped into his ATV. He pushed his ATV onto the Paw Patroller. The doors began to close. Ryder made sure everything was safely tucked inside before joining the others. What the team did not realise was that while they were preparing the Paw Patroller, Chickaletta, the chicken, had hopped onto some crates near the Paw Patroller. She didn't know that she'd been spotted by Precious the kitten. Precious attempted to catch Chickaletta, but Chickaletta realised what was happening and tried to hide in the Paw Patroller. Precious followed her. But Chickaletta was too fast and quickly hopped out of the Paw Patroller just as the door closed, trapping Precious inside. Chickaletta chuckled herself and flew off. The Paw Patroller was off to Seal Island and no one knew that Precious was inside too. It was cold and snowy on Seal Island. Paw Patrol arrived and Everest went to meet them in her snowmobile. They all jumped out of the Paw Patroller. I can't wait to count the penguins, said Chase excitedly. Let's get the vehicles out, cried Ryder to Robodog. The Robodog released the doors. Precious couldn't wait to get out of the Paw Patroller. But guess what the first thing she saw was? It was a seagull! And Precious just could not resist trying to catch it. She jumped onto every snowmobile, but as the seagull flew off, Precious's paw hit the start lever and the snowmobile began to move. What was that? said Zuma. It's Precious! She's driving your snowmobile! But she's totally out of control! We must save her! cried Ryder. Everest, you go with Chase and his cruiser and see if you can catch her. Sky, I need you to look from above in your helicopter. Precious was totally out of control. She didn't know how to stop. I hovered in her helicopter looking very carefully in the snow for any sign of her. Suddenly, Sky spotted her, but she was heading straight towards a rock by the sea. Precious crashed into the rock and then catapulted into the air. Luckily, she landed on a rock in the sea, but she was very scared. Sky checked she was alright and then told her she was going to get some help. I found Precious, Sky told Ryder, but she's stuck on a rock in the sea. Zuma, cried Ryder, I need you to rescue her in your hovercraft. 
Right away, replied Zeva, and off he went. Jump, cried Zuma, I'll catch you. Precious wasn't sure at first, but she did and landed safely on the hovercraft. Zuma then very carefully took her back to shore. Chase and Everest arrived to retrieve Everest's snowmobile. Luckily, he was undamaged and they headed back to Ryder. Sky was first back and she returned her helicopter to the Paw Patroller. Chase was next, followed by Zuma and Precious. Thank goodness you're all right, said Ryder, and the watching penguins agreed. Everest was not too far behind. I'm sorry, Captain Turbot, said Ryder. I think we've run out of time to count the penguins today. Could we come back another day, he asked. No problem, answered Captain Turbot. I'll look forward to it. And the penguins all agreed. Ryder and his Paw Patrol pups were in the lookout tower when an important message came onto the screen. It's Captain Turbot, cried Ryder. He's been walrus watching and not looking where he was going. His boat is stuck on some rocks and the tide has gone out. If he can't free the boat, he will end up in the bottom of the bay. We must rescue him and pull him off the rocks. Zuma, I need you and your hovercraft and Sky. I need you in your helicopter to guide us through the rocks. Let's go! Zuma flew down the slide first and jumped into his hovercraft. Sky was next and left in her helicopter. Ryder followed and hopped onto his ATV. They soon reached the sea. Sky located Captain Turbot and informed Ryder where he was. She could see where they had to pull the boat. Very soon, Zuma and Ryder appeared by the boat. Ryder had converted his ATV to travel on water. Quick, Zuma, throw the end of the rope to Captain Turbot. He can tie it to the front of the boat and then we can pull him out, cried Ryder. Captain Turbot caught the rope and tied it to the boat. Ryder and Zuma attached the other two ends and began to pull. It's too heavy, cried Ryder. We can't pull him. Have you got anything heavy you can throw off the boat to make it lighter? shouted Ryder. Captain Turbot had a look and then saw Wally the walrus sitting on the boat. Oh, Wally, he cried. You'll have to get off and Wally jumped off the boat. That's better, sighed Captain Turbot. OK, let's try again, he shouted. This time, the boat finally moved, but there was a terrible scraping sound. Oh no, cried Captain Turbot. There's a big hole in the side of the boat. If we don't fix it, the boat will sink. We need to mend the hole, cried Ryder. I'll call Rocky. 
he'll have something to patch the hole. I'm on to it, answered Rocky, and he flew down the slide and opened the back of his recycling truck. I'll get Rocky, said Skye, and off she flew. Rocky pulled out a thin sheet of metal. This will do, he cried. Just then, Skye appeared. I've come to take you to Ryder, she said. Let's attach the metal sheet to my wheel and then we can carry it to Ryder. And so they did. And off they went. They managed to pass the metal sheet to Ryder. And then Zuma and Ryder jumped into the water to mend the hole. That should do the trick, smiled Ryder. Let's finally pull the boat to shore. With the hole mended, Zuma and Ryder managed to save the boat. Back on safe ground, Captain Turbot thanked Zuma and Ryder for rescuing him and promised that next time he went well watching, he would be a lot more careful where he was going.
Together on this pilgrim trail Pilgrim trail, pilgrim trail Sometimes heaven, sometimes hell Pilgrim trail, pilgrim trail For everything is up for sale Pilgrim trail, pilgrim trail Let's meet up down the pilgrim trail
The Clangers were having a quiet afternoon. Mother Clanger emerged from the kitchen. They were out of soup, so Major Clanger had to go out and get some. And Small Clanger joined in. So they hopped aboard the musical boat and off they went. But hours went by and they didn't return. And they just couldn't spot them through the telescope. So they sent out an emergency signal. Meanwhile at the Paw Patrol lookout, they were getting a bit bored. Looks like everyone is being careful and safe today, said Ryder. What's that noise? asked Ryder. But nobody knew. It sounds like something's in trouble, said Marshall. But nobody knew what to do. Luckily, Thomas was giving Pepper a lift nearby. Ooh, stop! she cried. That sounds like the clangers. It looks like the Paw Patrol pups could use your help, said Thomas. So she called up to them. Do you know what this noise is? they asked her. Yes, it's the clangers, replied Pepper, and they need help. Why don't you and Sky go and help them? suggested Ryder. Everyone liked this idea, so they changed into their spacesuits. How are we getting there? asked Pepper. In this, said Sky. So they got in and took off. Clangers were very relieved to have help. And they explained the situation. Don't worry, said Pepper. We'll find them. And off they went. They soon found them, but their ship had hit some rocks. We'll get you going again, they said. So everyone helped push the ship. Let's get you two back. The others are really worried, said Sky. So off they went. So everyone thanked Pepper and Sky as they flew back home. And Tiny Clanger had slept through the entire thing. Ryder was looking through his periscope when he noticed a kitten was in danger. Oh no! A kitten is floating out to sea on an inflatable toy! She needs our help! Sky, I need you to try to locate her in your helicopter. And Zuma, I need you to rescue her in your hovercraft. Let's go! We must hurry! Zuma was first down the slide. And into his hovercraft. Followed by Sky.
Ryder was next and climbed onto his ATV. Off they went to the sea. The kitten was floating further and further away. Luckily, Sky found her and contacted Zuma. She's heading towards some dangerous rocks, she said. You must hurry. There she is, cried Zuma. Don't worry, little kitten. You will soon be safe. Just jump onto the hovercraft. The kitten jumped onto the hovercraft, but then jumped onto Zuma. Zuma lost his balance and fell into the water. The kitten was startled and hit the start lever in the hovercraft. The hovercraft started to move away, leaving Zuma alone in the sea. The hovercraft was totally out of control. Suddenly, Zuma heard a friendly voice. Hello there, I'm Captain the Lifeboat. Do you need some assistance? Yes, please, answered Zuma. A kitten has accidentally taken my hovercraft. We need to find them. Then hop aboard, cried Captain. Let's get your hovercraft back. They began to look for the hovercraft. Suddenly, they received another message from Sky. I can see her! And she told Zuma where they were. Captain soon reached the hovercraft. Jump, said Captain, and Zuma did. He was soon back in control. Thanks, Captain, he barked. No problem, smiled Captain, and he was gone. Zuma headed back to the beach. Well done, Zuma, cried Ryder. He then noticed that he had a message from Rocky. I've got Dora here. She's lost her ginger kitten. Ryder looked at the kitten. You're very dirty. I'll clean you up and then return you to Dora. Let's go. And they all left. Ryder arrived at his house and they both went inside. They went into the bathroom. What you need is a good bath, said Ryder. But the kitten had other ideas. There was no way she was going into the bath and she made it very difficult for Ryder. Suddenly, she jumped onto Ryder, looking him into the bar, and then jumped out of the window. Outside was a red scooter, and she hopped onto it, and off it went. Oh no, cried Ryder. He climbed onto his ATV to look for the kitten. Yet again, the kitten was out of control on the scooter. She bumped into Princess Sophia who was carrying a large cake. Poor Sophia, the cake was ruined. What a mess. Ryder stopped to see if she was okay. It was a kitten on a scooter, cried Princess Sophia. Ryder helped remove the cake. I wonder where she is now, he said. I don't know, but I found a clue, she continued. It was a kitten's pink ribbon. This is great, said Ryder. I know just the pup who can help us. Chase, I need your help, he cried. Chase soon arrived. If you sniff this ribbon, you'll know what direction the kitten went, said Ryder to Chase. So Chase sniffed the ribbon. This way, he barked. They jumped into their vehicles to find her. Chase stopped at the clock tower. The trail stops here, he said. But where is she? asked Ryder. Just then, Chase spotted something red. It's the scooter, cried Ryder. She is here. 
Just then they looked up. Wow, she's on the roof. She's trying to catch that bird. I think we need Marshall. He contacted Marshall. I'm on my way, cried Marshall, and off he went. Marshall had a look. It's very high, he said, but I can rescue her. And he backed his fire truck into position. He raised the ladder and carefully climbed up. The bird took one look at Marshall and flew off. The kitten was very frightened, but jumped into Marshall's paws and he carefully carried her down. Dora and Rocky had arrived and Dora gave her a massive hug. Thank you so much, she said. I'm so sorry she was naughty. She'll be as good as gold now. And she was. Until the next time she was naughty. Ryder and McQueen had a game for some of the pups. Who wants to go on a treasure hunt? Ryder asked. Oh, I love treasure hunts, cried Marshall. Good. Well, McQueen has lost a car's egg. Can you find it? said Ryder. Where do we start? asked Chase. Well, you may want to ask any Quixel animals for help, recommended Ryder. Hmm, I can't see any Quixel animals, said Tracker. Maybe you should look up, said Ryder. A Quixel parrot flew by. There's the first animal, cried Marshall. Maybe it knows where the egg is, said Chase. We need to follow it, suggested Tracker. So they did. But it was a little bit too quick for them. <sighs> We're falling behind. We're going to lose it, panted Chase. We need some speed. Come on, let's ask Thomas for help, suggested Tracker. Thomas agreed to help, so they hopped on and followed the parrot. It soon landed. Aha! Got you, said Tracker. Do you know where the egg is? Bah! Follow the chicken! Bah! <laughs> the chicken ran off. So the pups followed it. led them to a Quixel sheep. Excuse me, Mr. Sheep, do you know where the egg is? asked Chase. Bear! In the jungle! Bear! Yes, I know the jungle very well. We'll find this egg in no time, boasted Tracker. Who in the jungle should we ask? asked Marshall. Bear! The monkey! Bear! So they thanked the sheep and headed into the jungle. Uh oh, I see the monkey, said Marshall. It was riding the train. We need to stop the train, said Chase. I can stop it at the station, said Marshall. So they headed up there. Go now, Marshall, said Chase. The train stopped. Yes, we stopped you. Do you know where the egg is? asked Chase. <coughs> Go to the water. <coughs> they thanked the monkey and went to the water. 
Hmm, the only animals I see are those crocodiles, said Tracker. But they're not Quixel crocodiles, said Marshall. But they might know where the egg is anyway, said Tracker. So they approached the crocodiles, but they weren't friendly. Uh oh, what are we going to do? asked the scared Marshall. Luckily, a Quixel dolphin emerged. It scared off the crocodiles. Thank you, said Chase. No problem, it replied. Do you know where the egg is? asked Marshall. Hold on, it said. It then emerged with another dolphin and the egg. Yes, we found it, cried Chase. Well done guys, said the dolphins. All of the Quixel animals then arrived. <coughs> then so did Ryder and McQueen. Well done guys, you found the egg, said Ryder. You found it very quickly, said an impressed McQueen. That was a fun puzzle, said Marshall. So they found the egg and had a lot of fun doing so. Hi, I'm Dave, and thanks for watching my video. Please check out our other videos, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon!